the leaders have their role. Kenyan medical experts umbrella of doctors for healthy living reprimanding the public for failing to take seriously preventive measures issued by the Ministry of Health to combat the spread of coronavirus. Social distancing, hand washing, and then cough hygiene. When you cough, cough into your clothes. We say the elbow, you might have a scarf, but it's important that your droplets do not go out there. Soap and water works very well. A, 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 a solution of jig, one cup of jig to uh, five, uh, six, six cups of water creates a solution that you can wipe down everything and in that process you will kill the virus. They expressed regret on the number of confirmed cases urging Kenyans to take the necessary precautions. They say you're fully recovered uh, um, after two or three tests. Uh, do not go home and open champagne. There's still a possibility of having so-called residual damage to your lung, your system. So you are not quite 100% off the hood, but you are obviously out of danger. They also faulted calls for restriction of the use of masks to medics only, saying the kit would be of great use in public places. If you're in a public transport, you don't know who you're sitting next to. You have to get to work. Very few people have their own transport. We use public transport to get to, to our places of work. We also are a poor economy that this lockdown that has been done in Europe would, is, is, is a very difficult, it's, 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 it's almost impossible. There are people who live hand to mouth in this city, in this country. According to the doctors, the safety of Kenyans and the future generation lies with actions of the society of today. It is actually our inaction that will lead to a lockdown. But there is something we can do right now through involvement of everybody, 100%, to prevent us from moving to a lockdown and to prevent us from ever from this storm. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel 1.